talk about trying to push a political agenda. That's exactly what we have here. And of course, they have to bring in our Lord and Savior to do this. I'm going to get into it, guys. Before I do, though, if you enjoy my daily content I provide for here on YouTube, I encourage you to help support my ministry on Patreon. You can do so for as little as just $5 a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description gets you access to all of my bonus content, talking a lot more about sensitive information. You get the alerts and notifications for anything that posts to the platform, unlike on YouTube, where you're not going to get all the alerts. So you got to browse my channel on a regular basis so you don't miss anything. And trust me, you've missed a ton of content. So when you get done watching this video, just browse back to see what it is that you've missed. Also got to send a special shout out to David, who recently became a $5 patron. Thank you so much, David, for the support. I really appreciate that. Now, guys, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, let's talk about the situation here with this Archbishop in Brisbane, Australia. That's right, in Brisbane, Australia. I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but I am. I'm, I don't know. What, what's wrong with me? Maybe it's because this, this story just has me all just flustered. He puts out this photo. And again, this talk about pushing a political agenda. Showing a photo of the Virgin Mary and the baby Jesus wearing what, you ask? Corona face masks. That's right. Pushing this agenda to try to bring awareness to people that, will look, if Jesus is going to wear a mask, if Mary is going to wear a mask, then you should be wearing one too. And shame on you if you're not. Because if the Messiah himself, who in no way, shape, or form can have disease, is wearing a face mask, to protect himself from something that can't harm him anyway, then you better make sure that you have one on too because Jesus is telling you, put on a mask. I mean, this is disgusting. The The amount of, of just backlash that came in from this archbishop by the name, his name is Mark Coleridge is his name, okay, uh, has caused so much just outrage. People in both the Catholic community and the Christian community are condemning this, saying that it's just absolutely disgusting. If you think about it, it was literally the spittle of Christ that healed the blind in many situations. Why would you put a mask over him? It doesn't even make sense. Unless you're just going to say that Christ has no power. He wasn't truly the Messiah. I mean, that's the only thing that would make sense. So this is absolutely disgusting that they would bring this in uh, and, and try to promote this. Because, look, we started this at the very beginning. People said, it's just, it's just a mask. It's not a big deal. Just wear it. It's going to help people. It's going to save lives. The mask isn't to help you, it's to help others. So you need to be a good citizen. It's being patriotic. It's showing patriotism by wearing that mask. We know this is about, ladies and gentlemen, it's about control. It's about control. And them using Jesus is not new. I'll tell you that. They use him for everything. They use him to promote the LGBT agenda. They use him to promote any sort of a liberal left-wing agenda. That's what they use him for. They do images of, of Jesus with rainbow flags with the, with the LGBT community. I mean, that's, it's terrible what they do. They're going to, I'm telling you, they're going to be held accountable for this. They're going to be judged for what they're doing, for, for mocking the Lord, for this blasphemy. Uh, it's, it's going to be dealt with. I'm telling you, unless these people truly repent, unless they repent. And again, and these aren't just worldly people. I'm not just talking about anybody. I'm talking about people in the church on, in all denominations, Catholic, Christian, Protestant, Baptist, Lutheran, Whatever the case is, they're all a part of it. So it's not just the typical celebrities or people you would think, you know, other radical left wings in Congress. No, it's people within the church. It's so important to wake up and realize who these people are. Call them out. If you belong to one of these churches and you see something like this happen, get out of there. Because you have no place there. These are not men or women of God. These are agents of Satan. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be so blunt, but it is what it is. It's the truth. And you got to get away from it. Now, if you want to see an image... Uh, of how this guy, you know, put Jesus and Mary in these masks. I'll put it down below in the description. If you guys would like to check it out, you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.